Hallelujah. It is our, it should be our desire. To allow the sun to shine even in the worst situation when you can't see the sun. I want you to know it is shining somewhere on this earth. Amen. Somebody say amen. 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 We need to realize we don't need to be an Eeyore. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, y'all too old. You don't remember who Eeyore is. All right, Winnie the Pooh There's a little bear that lives in the, is it 100 Acre Woods? Yes. Yes, he lives in the 100 Acre Woods. And he's happy, and Tigger's always happy, and bouncing and jumping around and having a good time. Uh, but there's a, a little donkey there. Hey, man, his name is Eeyore. He's always down and out. He's always got a frown on his face. He's always just talking. And you can tell that Eeyore's just, life is bad. Folks, we don't need any Eeyores. Hallelujah. We need a whole lot more Tiggers in the church. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I know when you say you got to have all kinds of people here. Folks, we all need to get more happy about where we're at, what we're going through. We need to be happy and excited that we've got the Holy Ghost living inside of us. We have to stay away from that stinking way of thinking. Yes. Hallelujah. And I'm aware that we can't live on cloud nine all the time. I, I realize that. And I, I'm fully uh, conscious of the fact that it does rain from time to time. But so what? Amen. Somebody say amen. 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 Because the flowers need rain. Yes. Amen. You couldn't have sunshine all the time. That's because right. if you had sunshine all the time, the ground would dry up and it would yes. become dead we'll and change. things wouldn't grow. So we praise God for the rain. Yes. Yes. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. And the rain makes you appreciate the sunshine. And then there'll be days yes. when nothing goes right. But so what? Yes. There'll be days when it seems like everybody is against you. But so what? That's right. There'll be days when it seems like you don't have a, a friend in the world, but so what? Yeah. You still have Jesus. Yeah. You still have breath yeah. in your body. You still have a relationship with God, and that is more important than yeah. anything else. Can someone say amen? amen? And then there may come a time when there's four bald tires on the car, and you only have $10 for groceries. Let me tell you, you need to be happy. Amen. 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 Hey, let a little love into your heart. Yes. Amen. Amen. Let Jesus come alive. Amen. Amen. And it doesn't matter. Woo. Hallelujah. You might be driving a car, but every time you get in it, you got to get somebody to jump you to get you going. Yeah, that's right. Hallelujah. You may be uh, in a vehicle that every time you go somewhere and park, uh, you got to make sure you park in a place where somebody could get in to jump you. Or you got We had a car one time uh, that the reverse went out of, and we did not have the money uh, to get the reverse fixed uh, in this car. So every time we went someplace and parked, uh, we had to park to where we could, uh, uh, you know, either just pull out uh, or we could uh, sort of uh, roll backwards. Yeah. Yeah. Because there was no reverse uh, in, in this car. We, in our driveway, we would either have to swing big in the yard and, and park so that we could get out, uh, or we'd have to park, you know, where you leave the door open and stick your foot out. Oh, you're crazy. No, my little wife uh, was pregnant with one of our children. I, I forget uh, who it was, and there would be places she'd have to open the door and stick her foot out. Start pushing that car out in backwards. Hey, praise God that I've got a car. It may not go in backwards, but it goes in forward. Somebody shout hallelujah. 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 Amen. I need to be thankful in all things and give thanks. If I live by this principle, I'll be blessed. If I realize that all that I have is right now, I don't have tomorrow. And I need to enjoy right now. Yeah. Amen. I need to make sure that I am paying attention right now. Yes. I need to make sure that I realize that all that I truly have is right now. When I think of all that He's done for me and how He's blessed me, you know, I don't get upset. 
I don't get mad and I don't get broken down about the problems that, I've, that I have in my life. Because I realize all I have is right now and I'm going to enjoy right now. And if I complain, will He bless? I need to realize that my days, as the Scripture tells me, my days are numbered. Your days are numbered. I don't care if you're eight or if you're 80. Your days are numbered. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. You know, I've been to many funerals, taken part in many funerals. As a matter of fact, I've preached a whole lot more funerals than I have weddings. There have been times that I've been involved in funerals. And never with anybody who's ever been a part of this church. But I've been to many funerals and I've wondered if I was at the right place. Jesus, Jesus. Because I've heard praise. I've heard people praise a family member who just days before had cursed them. Heard them say things about this person. Talk about how this person is here or there and they know. Well, folks, I want to make sure that what's said of me after I'm gone is true. If I leave tomorrow, I don't want y'all to have to make up a, a good story about how nice and happy and how good of a person I was. I want it to be right. I want it to be real. You see, because all I really have is right now, so I'm going to make it the best. I'm going to do my best not to complain. I'm going to do my best not to get upset, get aggravated, even though things don't always go right. All I have is right now. So I want to start giving God my best right now. I want to live today like it is my last. A lot of people talk about living with a bucket list. Things they want to get done before they die. I want to climb Mount Everest. I want to go bungee jumping. I want to do this. I want to go... Folks, all oh, that's good and fine. But if you did all that when you're gone from here, that really doesn't matter. You're not going to step to the other side and say, Oh yeah, I got to climb Mount Everest. Oh yeah, I got to go bungee jumping. Oh yeah, I got to sail around the world. I got to meet a celebrity. I got None of that. But what will matter is how you lived each and every individual moment of your life. The happiness that you had, and the joy and the peace that you had, and that you shared with others. That's all that will really matter. That's it. You see, I want to live today like it's my last. And how we live in the moment, let me say this, how we live in the moment determines how we will spend eternity. How we live in the moment will determine how we spend eternity. When this mortal life ends, it isn't over. It's just begun. And your hope is not in this life. It's in the life to come. Even though we may stop breathing today, we will live forever somewhere. Life, even at its longest, is very short. not the accomplishments that you've made in life. It's how you've lived in the moment. It's not the things that you've amassed or that you've accumulated. It's how you've lived in the moment. And the love and the joy that you've experienced from Jesus Christ and that you've shared with others. So you bow your heads and close your eyes. I want to say to you, all you have is right. If you're saying, Maybe even in your mind in the last few days or weeks you've said, there's going to come a point in my life when I'm going to grow up or when I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And I'm going to be a Christian. And I'm going to live for God. But, but, but right now there's some other things that I want to accomplish and there's some other things that, that I want to do before I live a committed life for Christ. All you have is right now. All you have. I'm going to be a better prayer. I'm going to become a prayer warrior. I'm going to do this. I'm going to be a better witness for Jesus Christ. Well, 
That starts right now. That starts right now. I'm going to be a better dad. I'm going to be a better uh, husband. I'm going to be a better uh, mother. I'm going to be a better wife. I'm going to be better to those, to those who are closest to me. Well, folks, all that starts right now. Right now. How you spend this moment that you are given will truly determine what's going to take place. So I encourage you to come down to this altar. Say, Lord, all I know is that I have, all that I have is right now. I don't have tomorrow. I don't have this. And I don't, I've got right now. So I'm going to take this moment and I'm going to connect with you. I'm not going to wait to, for the, the next time that may be better. I may, uh, I'm not going to wait for exactly the right moment because the right moment is right now.